All right, good morning, everybody. It is 6.08. Uh, we broke camp probably about uh, 25 minutes ago. Um, so last night, we made it to a, a spot that was just labeled on the map, Pipe Spring. Had a campsite there. Um, by the time we got there, everybody ate dinner and everything. We looked at the forecast, it was showing some rain coming in. So uh, we decided to just make camp there rather than push on and have to set up in the dark in the rain. So yesterday we did approximately 21.5 miles. Um, wasn't the 25 like we planned, but um, yesterday we had two big climbs. So it's really kind of even out. We're gonna end up doing about 29 miles today, uh, give or take. But a lot of it's going to be ridge walking, kind of like you see here, if you can see. On my end of the camera, it looks like you can see. It's a little dark, but hopefully it's showing up. So anyway, about 29 miles today. So this will actually be my biggest day. Uh, of course, it'll be my son's biggest day and his friend Micah's biggest day. I think it'll be Craig's biggest day as well. Um, so anyway... So last night, boy, it did. It came with rain. I've got some video I should have played before this little clip of the rain hitting my tarp. So I slept in my in my hammock last night with the seal nylon tarp. And uh, I made a couple of decisions. One, hammock camping is just not for me. Um, it's just... I just, I just, it's not for me. It's hard for me to get comfortable. Um, so many things. Um, at one point, I felt water just continuously dripping on my, uh, my strap. And it was just reverberating through the whole hammock. It was a little bit annoying. Um, the wind was so bad, it was actually blowing mist and stuff completely up underneath the tarp, which kind of covered me, the hammock. Um, and I kept hearing stuff all night long. I turn on my light to look, and no, no longer than five seconds after I turn on my light, I'd be buzzing with bugs. Uh, at one point in time, seal nylon tarp, seal nylon stretches, stretches a lot, especially when it rains. Now I actually, uh, when I set it up, I set it up tight. Uh, before I went to bed, I actually cinched it down even tighter. Uh, but once it started raining. The tarp was a complete, it was just sagging so bad. Sagging so bad that it actually formed little uh, pockets on the outside of the tarp that would fill up with rain. And occasionally, whenever a big gust would blow, I would hear the, the wind kind of poof the tarp out, and I'd hear water just fall off of it. Um, probably about 12, 1230, I'd say. I couldn't take any more. I had to completely um, cinch down all four corners as well as the ridge line. Um, now I've used seal nylon in the past. I knew that you know this is the nature of the beast, um, but it really reinforced my reasoning for why I've been using Cuban all these years. I just I don't see myself using a seal nylon shelter for uh, anything else, and uh, as well even a hammock. I think I'm pretty much done with hammocks. Um, I remember seeing two o'clock last night and I still hadn't even begun to fall asleep. And we got up at 4.15, so I'm on running, running basically on zero sleep for the last couple of nights. So anyway, that's my rant on that. I'm sure I might have folks tell me, oh, you didn't do it right, you did this wrong. Um, you should have used this tarp, should have used this hammock. Um, that's, that's not the point. Uh, I've tried a number of times, several, several setups. Hammocks just aren't for me. So, saying that, I don't think we're going to have many views or cool things like the dams and stuff that we saw yesterday, today. Um, hopefully the rain, well, it's, it's not raining now, it's just water falling out of the trees. But by 10 o'clock, it's supposed to start getting sunny. So hopefully that will come out and clear up some of this fog and stuff. 
Although, on the flip side, it's gonna get hot and humid. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, big mile marker, or the big thing today, it's gonna be hitting the Virginia border. And, uh, and then, of course, finishing in Damascus. And then, like I said, just knowing that I did a 29 mile day, that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, Anyway, gotta say the hike is going really good. We've had a good time. Like I said, we pushed out 21.5 yesterday. Uh, those they were 21.5, pretty decent miles. We all did good. Um, had a good night. Well, you know, for the most part, having a good time. Anyway, this is already six minutes on this one clip, so I'm gonna let you go. All right, looks like we got the sun coming up over that way. It's 6.30 right now. We're hoping to come up on uh, the next shelter. I can't remember off the top of my head what the name of it is. But it is 3.5 miles from where we uh, where we started our hike. It's actually kind of the destination where we were thinking about going last night. Um, and we're aiming to be there by 7 a.m. Which would make it an hour and 15 minute hike for us. Like I say, this is all ridge walking, so shouldn't be too bad. So far, it hasn't. All right, come out to this little opening here, and you can see our view. Covered just a little bit, but still pretty. It's real pretty. What do you think about that, Micah? Yep. Unique, though. Indeed. Yep. Alright, that's the way we're headed. I don't know if you can see, but right in there, another deer, she's looking at us. Say bye bye. Yeah, she's behind the tree now. Yep, sure is, baby buck. Yep, good spot. Still in velvet. All right, so we made it to Iron Mountain Shelter. Is there somebody in there? Yeah, it looks like somebody's in there, maybe. Anyway, Iron Mountain Shelter. Big open area over here. Picnic table. So it is 6.56. We've been on the trail for um, basically an hour and 10 minutes, 11 minutes now. Made it three miles, not three and a half like I thought. Still not too bad. Three miles in an hour, just over an hour. All right, we're gonna keep going that way. All right, if you can see, there's another deer right up there, right to the right of the trail. And uh, we're still right here at the shelter. So, Iron Mountain Shelter. It's a big deer area. Bring your charcoal. <laughs> yeah, bring your charcoal. And your blow darts. All right, this is the Grindstaff Monument. Pretty neat. Uncle Nick Grindstaff, December. 26, 1851 to July 22nd, 1923. Suffered alone and died alone. Well, so that's it there. Um, we are 1.3 miles from the shelter I just filmed. So I think we're about 4.3 miles or so from, uh, from where we started this morning. 7.32, um, 
been on the trail for an hour and 45 minutes not bad um the at goes south that way north that way that's where we're going I think this is just a pretty neat little area. Kind of open. Big. Obviously, that's where we're coming from. That's where we're headed. I like this though, the big trees. Kind of an open area. A bunch of big rocks over there. Big tree growing out of a big rock over there. Very nice. All right, so we have uh, we stopped a little ways back, uh, just not too few minutes ago. Got some water. We're getting a little closer to a road crossing we can tell because the trail's getting a little nicer <laughs> but anyway we're doing pretty good we're just over seven miles now uh into the trail total and it is 8 53 we've been on the trail uh just over three hours now so that's not too bad let's see five Six, seven, yep. Not too bad. All right, so we've come to another road crossing. This is uh, Tennessee 91. We're gonna be crossing over. Looks like, uh, I'm gonna go right up through there. Oh, we might actually get a couple of views for just a minute. But anyway, from here we've got approximately three miles uh, to cover our next climb. We just gradually start climbing from here. Uh, not very bad. It's going to be about 700 feet total. So uh, once we get done with that, we're pretty much downhill. There we go. Well, we're getting a little bit of shower. It's kind of dying away. Kind of afraid there may be another cell kind of moving in behind us. Might be a little bigger, but maybe we'll be back under tree cover if it does come. But finally got to where we kind of got some views. It's pretty neat. And of course, this is the way we're headed. You can see them up there. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it in the video. There's a big AT on that barn coming up. That's pretty cool. I put my phone away since it started raining. And I was like, nah, I gotta get it back out for this. That's too cool. There's some cattle back there. I don't know if we'll actually go next to them. We'll see. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so these are the blazes we're following. They run right up between all the cattle. We didn't get to see the cattle when we were in uh, Grayson, but now we do. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I told him I said you could, you could play, but he played tag with you. We gotta watch our steps. Then there's cow patties right there. He's like, yeah, I've seen thousands of y'all y'all don't bother me and then over here we got the baby cows they're all like check me out I'm babies and then the trail goes through there look at all them flies <laughs> Pretty cool. Gotta watch my Cuban fiber backpack. 
on these barbs. And there the trail, trail goes, leading back into the woods. It's pretty neat though, we've got these stone markers. See another one right there next to the boys. Well, it is still raining. Uh, right now we are in the, uh, I don't know what the name of the shelter is. It's got some big long name. But anyway, uh, that's where we came from, right down that trail, I assume. Yeah, there's a blaze up there, so that's where we'll be headed. Uh, we are like 10.6 miles in today. Uh, it's 10.27. So we've been hiking for, let's see. Uh, about four hours and 45 minutes so doing pretty good um me and craig should be on their way soon we just showed up here it started raining on us when we was in that field a little ways well that's two and a half miles ago so we just kind of pushed it and got to the shelter so we can kind of get out of the rain for just a minute both of them have rain jackets on so but anyway, let me show you real quick. This is the shelter. So anyway, we're gonna wait on them and then we're gonna go that way. I don't know how much more video I'm gonna do. I don't know how long the rain's gonna last. So we'll just see. All right, we just left that shelter. It's still raining, but not quite as bad. But I just wanna say, I just love it. When it's all misty and cloudy and foggy through the trees. It's just really cool. Now I could do without the rain, but uh it's really cool. Anyway, about another three and a half miles. I think we're gonna be crossing uh road 421, gonna fill up some water there. And <clears throat> and then we're gonna keep going. Big surprise there. <laughs> Well, it looks like we got a clearing here. Too bad we can't see what's in the clearing. Maybe up here we'll come out and see what it is. Yeah, that's what we do. Whatever that is. Looks like we're going away from it, whatever it is. This part came out of this uh, housing. Alright guys, so we just came down from there. This part right here came out of this house. This is a US, four, I think it's 421 or something like that. Hung out here at this table for just a little bit, kind of cheered everybody's spirits up. Got some more water. There's some just right down there coming out of a pipe. Uh, met two other ladies here. I would assume that they're through hiking. Um, anyway, you can see Matthew and Micah, they're headed up there. The trail's gonna go right off over there. We got Benny and Craig here. We got 15.1 or 15 miles left to go. And like I say, this is 421, the Purple Heart Trail. So anyway, we're gonna head this way. Like I said, we got 15 more miles to go. It is 1248, so we just took kind of a long break there. Just kind of cheer everyone up, I think. And we're gonna push on. Should be slide uphill for the next several miles, but nothing that's like drastic. Uh, and then, we're getting close to the border and uh from there it's pretty much all downhill so onwards to damascus 
All right, so uh, we're just now coming off of McQueen Knob. Um, we should fall down just a little bit and hit US Forest Service Road 69, I believe. And then from there, um, be 1.1 miles to the next shelter. Uh, I think it's like a Bigden, a Bingden, something like that. Um, once we get there, we'll be 18.9 miles for the day and 10.1 is what we'll have left so uh, looking forward to that tell you what been an interesting trip it's been hard i'm not gonna lie about that either but we're hanging in there making it happen tell you what we've been talking a lot about what we're gonna eat so uh i figure once we get near the Tennessee Virginia border we only have about four and a half miles to go I figure at that point we're probably gonna kick it in pretty good and get on down so that we can get something to eat I've only been out two days but anybody that's been out hiking knows how it is get out there and just start thinking about food so anyway I'm gonna put this away You can next what I said in that previous video. Um, we actually just came across McQueen Knob just a while ago. Uh, it was just right up there. And then we come down, and this must have happened last night. There's a huge tree just blown over. We had to crawl through the, the bushes and stuff. But this must be the old shelter. I guess it's a Bingden. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But supposedly this is the old shelter here. Pretty small. Um, but we should be following this for... Like I said, approximately 0.4 miles uh, across Forest Service 69, Forest Service Road 69, and then uh, head up to the new shelter, I assume. So we'll see. Hooray! There's the road. That's where we came from. That's where we're going. Alright, so here we are at the... Uh, the new Abingdon Gap shelter. Um, we came from that direction, so that's headed south. And we're gonna be headed that direction there. It's actually a nice little spot here. Several places for tents all throughout here. Um, there's water back there. Benny said it's it's way back there though. So I don't, I don't guess we're gonna worry about getting some. I think we're all kinda okay on water. Their son just after the state line, which is about um, five or six miles from here. So we'll see. But anyway, we're hanging out here for just a little bit, waiting on Craig, and then we're gonna keep going. Try to get into town by hopefully, be nice maybe eight, but we'll see. Can't see. Looks like we got a. Buddy laid across the trail here. I don't know what he's doing. Can't see his head. That's what I'm saying. Okay. My bad. Is it alive? I don't know. It's not moving. Yeah, there's his head. Poke it with a stick and if it slithers away. There's a big one. Screw that. Poke it with a stick, it's chasing you. Like when you run him down the hill on the rocks, he's kind of pushed away the actual pain. Just walking. Looks like he's going bye bye. Bye bye, Mr. Snake. Alrighty, guys. It has been a long time since I've waited to see this sign here. I actually thought we lost or we had passed it. But we are at the Tennessee Virginia state line. That means I've got um, Georgia, Tennessee, and North Carolina completed. And I'm finally officially into Virginia. So that's pretty cool. Um, so of course there's that milestone. Um, one other milestone, not just for me, but for several of us on this hike, is um, up to this date, Matthew has only hiked, I think, about 21 miles in a day, somewhere, somewhere around there. And of course Micah has only hiked 1.2 miles in a day. So at this moment in time, we are approximately 25.5 miles into our day. And... You can see we still have 
three and a half miles to go, which means we're gonna do a total of not 29 miles today. So not only am I finally getting into my fourth state, um, but Micah, Matthew, myself, and even Craig, who is still yet to show up, uh, he and Benny still back there a little bit. Um, all four of us, this is our biggest day yet at 29 miles. So uh, I am super excited about that. Been waiting to see this sign. So anyway, once they get here, we're gonna take some pictures and we're gonna continue that way for three and a half miles. Not sure how much more video I'm gonna do. Right now it is 6.30. Um, we are we are ready to make it to Damascus and go get something to eat. Cause we are pretty dang hungry. So I'm gonna do some more video for sure at some point, but I don't know how much more before I get to Damascus. I don't know if there's anything, um, you know, just like video worthy. Um, but anyway, there it is. There is the line. See. Virginia, Tennessee. Bye bye, Tennessee. Hello, Virginia. Meet Virginia. All right, bye bye. All right, guys. Well, it looks like I am about to exit the Appalachian Trail into someone's yard. And uh, this will wrap up our hike. I gotta say, I am super proud of all of us. Um, like I mentioned in the last clip, um, Craig, myself, Matthew, and Micah, we all set personal personal best as far as distance hiked. 29 miles. Uh, and that was after a 21 and a half day yesterday, which was actually a pretty rough day. So, uh, uh, 50 miles, two days. It is 8.15. And uh, we're officially in Damascus. I'm going to walk and stand up under the arch, take some pictures, and then we're going to head off and uh, get something to eat. I'm going to find a hotel and stay the night. This is where you come out at. It's pretty interesting. There's the boys. I think, yeah, we just walk straight down that road there. And the arch is to our left. So anyway... This has been our hike. It's been fun. Uh, really excited. Follow the white places, right? Yeah. Right. yeah that's really excited about it. Finally in Virginia. Uh, I'm super excited about that. Now I just need to pick up in Virginia and head, continue heading north. I don't know when I'll get a chance to do that again, though. But right there is the, the famous arch. And uh, we parked our cars at the library, which is right over there. This is too cool. There's even like a little shelter over there. <laughs> but anyway, I have no idea what kind of uh, elevation gain and loss. Um, today was actually a lot of ridge walking, but surprisingly, it was a little bit harder than I had anticipated it being. Yeah, I see my car over there. There's a double blaze. It was a little tougher than I'd anticipated, but in the end, we have finished. Man, I can't tell you I'm excited about this. So next time, this is where I'll pick up my hike. Welcome to Damascus. Let me step up under the arch. Woo, all right. So that's it that's my hike um i know it's probably it's been a lot longer than i thought it would be probably got a lot of shaking going on sorry about that uh, but anyway i appreciate you watching if you have any comments or questions just post them below and i appreciate it i'm telling bye i gotta use the bathroom oh okay and then benny and craig they're fixing to come right down through there all right see ya